Gareth Gates here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've decided to open up and talk about something that's quite hard to talk about. Something that's shaped and moulded my life and made me into the person I am now. It's a topic that I find hard to talk about at times because of the emotional attachment that it has with it which is mainly kind of a negative emotional attachment and so often I shy away from addressing this situation but I thought as part of my channel I thought I'd kind of delve a little deeper into this subject and that's the subject of stammering. It's been very well documented over the years that I have a stammer and continue to battle with my speech impediment but I figured over the years that if you address it, if you tackle it kind of head on, then you start to take ownership of it. And that's why I've decided to do these videos. Usually on my vlogs, on my YouTube channel, I kind of record things, edit them up, and so I can stop starting with the filming. But on this series of vlogs, I've decided just to let the camera run. My speech might not be perfect at times, but I think it shows a good indication of where my speech is at and for something like this I think just pour your heart out. From as long as I can remember I've had a stammer. It's hard having a, a stammer, you can't be the person you want to be. You're held back, you know, we gauge people's personality and who they are through their speech and through their communication skills and if you haven't got those skills which I haven't really ever had, I've got better throughout the years. If you haven't got those necessary skills, then it's hard for people to see the true you. I'm a hilarious person. <laughs> I'm, I've got quite a lot of charisma, <laughs> but at times I'm held back. We all know what it's like when you're sat around a table in a restaurant with your mates or in the pub, it's the fastest person who, or the person who comes up with the wittiest lines, the first gets the biggest laughs and then everybody loves them. And, and often I have those thoughts but can't get the thoughts out fast enough. Um, somebody else always beats me to it. And so therefore you feel frustrated and you know, you feel like you kind of let yourself down because you're not showing the world or showing that group of friends exactly who you are. And that's something I've had to battle with. But anyway, let's take it back to my kind of early days at school. You know, having a stammer when you're young, when you're at school, especially around other kids, is very, very difficult. We all know what kids are like. Anything different about anybody, they're the first to pick up on it. And that's just through innocence, you know. They're very naive, very innocent. But at school, not being able to speak at all, when your name's read out on the register, Gareth, and you struggle to go, yes, and you have that block, just even saying, yes, miss. Um, I'd feel that every day of my life at school and that kind of creeping death when they're going through the register and alphabetically and you know that it's kind of three people before you, two people, one person, oh, get so tense just by saying simple words, yes miss, you know, and that in itself just kind of shapes and moulds you to the person that you become in later years, that fear um, also, you know, a huge thing to talk about at, at school is bullying and this is another reason why I wanted to do these vlogs because I'm not trying to appeal to or trying to educate just people with a stammer, um, reaching much further than that and it's people who have any form of disability or are socially inept in any way or have anything holding them back. You know, having having that at school and being bullied for it, I was badly, badly bullied. 
you know, some of the worst experiences of my life. And at the time, at school, it's your whole world. You know, now in hindsight, looking back, I think, well, you know, maybe it wasn't that too much of a big deal, but it, it actually really is. When you're in that situation, when you're being bullied, you know, there was certain individuals in my class that would make my life absolute hell. Uh, and that's not an exaggeration, but, you know, that then spreads onto the rest of the class, kind of all point in fun. Being asked to read out in class was always a really traumatic time for me. Again, as I said, that creeping death, you know, it's two people away from me. Oh, the person before me is about to read, meaning I'm next. Oh, the anxiety, the stress uh, you'd go through just having to read a paragraph. And then the result of that, all the kids kind of laughing, sniggering. And in a way, I don't kind of blame them. It's, you know, it's not a easy thing to uh, respond to, but it kind of made my life hell at the time. Teachers on the whole were, were great with me. My parents kind of went into school lots to ensure that all the teachers knew about my situation, about my problem. Um, you know, on the whole, it was all good, but I did have the odd teacher who just didn't have the patience or the time or didn't really have the understanding and they'd put me on the spot trying to make me speak in in situations that I just desperately didn't want to you know I'm not tarnishing all of my teacher with that brush but I did have the odd individual which you know is a form of bullying too um, and it was very very hard uh, yeah anyway uh, I think that's a good kind of introduction to this series of vlogs. I'm going to be talking much more, much more in depth about my life and also how I've tackled having a stammer too, but I don't want to bore you all in one vlog. I'm going to do this over a series. So uh, please come back to watch the rest of these vlogs where I'll go a little bit more in depth uh, about having a stammer or having any... Um, disability or anything okay. that... I found this on the web, but please come back to watch the rest of these logs in depth. Check it out. <laughs> That's my Siri <laughs> answering uh, me. Anyway, yeah, please come back, as Siri just said, uh, to watch some more vlogs, a little bit more in-depth chat about stammering and anything that may hold you back in life.